It's been a long drought for lifelong Reds fans like Jim Parsons, looking forward to returning to Great American Ballpark this year. Excited for the fans to be able to get back in the ballpark and uh, we'll take one game at a time, hope the pitching holds up. Aruna Chapali says she hopes to bring her whole family back this summer. I think we're almost there with the vaccination and everything going on, so we'll see how the measures are and we'll definitely get back onto the stadium. But buying tickets will be different. You can still purchase them at the ticket window, though online at MLB.com is much simpler. They'll be sold in pods of two, four, or six tickets, and each pod will be socially distanced from the next one. Now here's one change this year that might be a little disconcerting. All tickets this year are digital only on your smartphone. But after complaints from seniors who don't own smartphones, the Reds now say they can issue a paper voucher for a $5 fee. Call their ticket line to learn more. And despite limiting the crowd to 12,000 fans per game, we found seats available for most games, even the Cubs, Cardinals, and Braves on weekends. Prices start at $12 for most games. With the changeover from Fox Sports to Bally Sports, analysts say it's possible Bally could reach a new deal with streaming services later this year. As always, don't waste your money. I'm John Matters, WCPO 9 News.